and we are back hello everyone welcome back to 5 minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks within less than 5 minutes so without wasting time let's get started today's problem is search in rotated sorted array which is marked as a medium level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given one array arr of integer type and, and another key of integer type as well let's see the constraints so array dot size array length can be anything from 1 to 10 raised to the power 6 and array elements can also be anything from 0 to 10 raised to the power 6 and key key will also be from 1 to 10 raised to the power 6 okay all right so now let's find out what we have to do so basically this array which we will be given it is a rotated sorted array rotated sorted array what means which means if you will see this array 1 2 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 so here you can see that if we will rotate this array if we will rotate this array three times to the right three times to the right 1 2 3 will go to the starting so it will become something like 1 2 3 and after that this three element first will be after rotating it three times and after that 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay all right so this will be our road sorted array so you can see if this array this is my let's suppose this is my original array and if i will rotate it three times if i will rotate it three times to the left it means three will be going to the last 2 will be in the second last, 1 will be at the third last, and new array will be something like 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3. Okay, alright, so this is our rotated sorted array. And one more interesting thing I can say is if you will plot on map, if you will plot this on graph, so this, if you will plot this, its map will be something like in this way. Okay, so there will always be one mountain. Okay, alright, and in some cases it can be something like this as well okay so it can be both it can be both okay all right i think rotated sorted array will be clear now what we have to do we have to search in this rotated sorted array we are given this key which is our target let's say and i have to find out whether this key is present in our array or not okay all right so one very easy way to find out this is basically simply traversing over this whole array traversing over this whole array and comparing with every element that if it is equal to key yes what i will do i will simply return the index of that element otherwise otherwise i will simply return minus one if that key is not present okay all right so this is first approach and the time complexity here will be big o of n which is linear time complexity which is good which is good but we always try to optimize we always try to optimize okay all right and one thing which you can also notice is this big o n time complexity will always be like even if this is a randomly array if even if this is random array then also time complexity will be go of n but here we are given we are given rotated sorted array so how can i take advantage of it how can i take advantage of rotated sorted array okay so if there is a sorted array if you remember if there is a sorted array and then we have to find out one element we can simply use binary search we can simply use binary search but can we apply binary search here as well can we apply binary search here as well let's find out so first thing what i will do is i will simply mark my beginning to this uh, first index zero index and my end to this last index okay all right after that what i will do i will simply find out mid so mid in this case will be equal to this nine which is zero one two three four fourth array fourth index okay all right so my mid is this okay all right now how can i identify how can i identify whether to go to left or whether to go to right or i have found my key so look first thing first thing first what you will do i will simply check if my arr mid is equal to key if my arr mid is equal to key simply return the index that is mid okay all right first step first step will be comparing okay after that if it is not equal so it means in binary search we have to go either left or we have to go either right okay so how can i identify it how can i identify it it's very very important and very very interesting part as well okay all right so what i will say is what i will check look whenever i will get mid whenever i will get mid either beginning to mid will be sorted either beginning to mid will be sorted or mid to end will be sorted okay or mid to end will be sorted so these two uh, in this uh, these two cases one will always be true okay all right so first of all let's check if my beginning to mid is sorted because look i can only trust i can only trust on that part which is sorted okay all right so i will check 
is my beginning to mid sorted how can i check look if my arr beginning if my arr beginning is less than or equal to arr mid okay arr beginning is less than equal to arr mid it means our this much array is sorted so yeah 5 is less than 9 correct it is my beginning is this if you remember and my end is this okay all right so here in this case what i can say is my beginning to mid is sorted okay all right and now i have to find out if my key if my key is present between beginning to mid how can i find out that how can i find out that look we can simply find out if my key my key is key k is let's suppose greater than beginning and key is less than mid key is less than mid okay in that case i our key will be present in the left side and i have to move to left side i have to move to left side how can i move to left side of a binary search of an array e is equal to mid minus 1 i hope this point will be also clear e is equal to mid minus 1 okay all right otherwise otherwise our beginning to mid is not sorted our beginning to mid is not sorted it means i have to go to this i have to check other way i have to check other way and what other way is let's see that as well so if 5 to 9 it is not present so what i will do is it can now be present in this side in this side but here you can see beginning to mid is there but beginning to mid is there but k is not present beginning to mid is there but k is not present because k is greater than mid k is greater than b k is greater than beginning so beginning is 5 key is 3 so 3 is greater than 5 no it is not it is not okay so what i will do in that case i have to go to right side in that case i have to go to right side very very simple it is okay all right so let's delete all this and now what i will do i have to go to right side and to go to right side our beginning will be mid plus one so it, in this case our beginning will be this okay all right let's delete all these things and then again check so our beginning will now be this our end will be this i hope till this point everything is clear now again what i will do i will try to find out mid i will try to find out mid so in that case our mid will be this okay all right now again what i will do i will first of all check if my mid is equal to key if my arr mid is equal to key no it is not okay all right in that case i have to either go to left or i have to go to right okay if you remember so now how can i check if i have to go to left or right so if you remember i have to check if my first if my this much array from beginning to mid is sorted or not okay but here it is not sorted how arr beginning is less than or equal to arr mid no it is not 10 is not less than equal to 1 okay so now in that case i will check the right side i will check the right side. no i will not go to right side but i will check this second condition and in second condition what i will check is if my key is present between 1 to e key is present between 1 to e yes key is present between 1 to e why because 1 is less than key is less than equal to end okay and in that case one is basically beginning okay in that case i have to go to right side otherwise i have to go to left side okay all right so i have to go to where i have to go i have to go to right side why because our beginning is less than key is less than end okay so of course my key will be present in the right side i think i have written it wrong it should not be beginning it should be mid because i am dividing it on the basis of mid okay so one is my mid three is my key and is greater than or equal to end that is three okay all right so if this is true this is true i have to go to right side and to go to right side again what i will do beginning is equal to mid plus one okay so beginning will be this now. okay all right let's delete all the things again now my end is still stuck to the last my beginning is this okay and in that case what will be our mid what will be our mid mid will be again this two okay mid will be again this two okay all right so again i will check what i will check again if i have to go to if first of all first of all if you remember arr mid is equal to key or not no it is not equal okay all right then either i have to go to left or i have to go to right okay so if you remember what i told was if beginning arr of beginning is less than or equal to mid okay yes this condition is true this condition is true okay inside that what i will check is if my key is present between beginning to mid beginning to mid okay so in that case what it will be beginning is less than equal to key is less than mid okay if this is true i have to i will go to left i will go to left okay so is this true one is less than or equal to 
is greater than or equal to 3 is less than 2. No, this second condition fails. In that case, what I will do? I will move to right side. I will move to right side. Okay. All right. So let's move to right side. In that case, our beginning is same. Our end is same and our mid will also be same. Our mid will also be same. Okay. All right. Again, I will calculate our mid. Okay. So now I will check again if my mid is equal to key. Yes, it is. My mid is equal to key. Yes. So simply return the index of beginning. Okay. All right. So this is what our code will look like. I hope it will be very, very clear to you. I will write one code and then again I will uh, dry run it once. Okay. So guys, look, I'm explaining it in English because in interviews, it will really help you if you remember a simple part of it. But if you will watch Hindi videos, then in interviews, it will become tough for you to explain as well. Believe me, I am saying this with my self experience. Okay. All right. So let's me code this for you. Meanwhile, if you have loved the explanation till this point, please don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video. Okay. All right, because uh, I also want to improve. So if you will comment down what I need to improve, I will definitely improve it. But please subscribe the channel as well. Okay. All right. So beginning is zero. End is equal to arr dot length. Something like arr dot length minus one. Let's say. Okay. And again, I will write. Look, it's very very simple boilerplate code of uh, binary search till this point. Okay. And now what I will do? I will simply calculate mid. Mid is equal to. Let's me check. ARR dot size so yeah I think it should work so it will be beginning plus end divide by 2 okay all right so this is our mid and if you remember first thing first thing which I told is if ARR of mid is equal to is equal to my key so in that case simply return mid mid is our index and that's correct okay all right otherwise otherwise what Otherwise, what I will do, I, I told, if you remember the second step, second step was my mid is, let's say nine. So I will check if my this much array is sorted or not. Okay. So how can I check this much array is sorted? ARR of beginning is less than or equal to ARR of end or ARR of mid. Sorry, not end. What I'm doing? ARR of mid. Okay. All right. So in that case, in that case, I will again check if this condition is true. I will again check if my key lies between beginning to mid. If my key lies between beginning to mid, so how can I check that? Suppose, let's say if my beginning is less than or equal to, not beginning, ARR of beginning. Beginning is the index. ARR beginning is the element. Okay. So ARR of beginning is less than equal to key and then key is less than mid, ARR of mid. So in that case, I will have to move to left side because now our key is present in the left side. How can I move to left side? It's a simple end is equal to mid minus one. Okay, all right. Otherwise, if let's say my key is not lies, if my key not lies in the left side, it will lie in the right side. So to lie in the right side, I will simply do else beginning is equal to mid plus one. Okay, all right. Similarly, let's suppose if my ARR of beginning to mid is not sorted, in that case, in that case, what I will check. Look, either ARR beginning to mid will be sorted or ARR mid to end will be sorted. ARR mid to end will be sorted. So if ARR of mid to end is sorted, in that case, what I will check is if my key lies between them or not. Okay. So how can I check if my key lies in that ARR of mid is less than key and and key is greater than or equal to ARR of end. Okay. All right. So in that case, if this condition is true, it means our key lies between mid to end. Okay. So I have to move to right side. How can I move to right side? I can simply move to right side by beginning is equal to mid plus one. Okay. All right. Otherwise, if my key does not lies between mid to end, it will lie in the starting in the left side. So how can I move to left side? Very, very simple. It is end is equal to mid minus one. Okay. All right. And this loop will be over while beginning to end is there something like this and here I can simply return what I can return I can return minus one okay because if our mid will be equal to key at any point it will be there only okay and if it is not there so at last I will return minus one okay let's try to submit that but before that I think I have written some error here ARR mid is less than greater than key and key should be less than key should be less than or equal to ARR of end. Okay. All right. Let's compile this once to check if it is running. Meanwhile, please subscribe the channel and like the video. It's getting accepted. Let's compiling. Let's submit it. And I've down uh, made a very cool Chrome extension for you. So you should 
check that as well okay all right it is getting accepted so let me give you a quick dry run of once more of the code so here you can see it is 3512 it is 3512 okay all right so beginning will be this end will be this okay all right so mid will be what mid will be 5 mid will be this first of all what i will do i will simply check this condition if arr mid is equal to key if arr mid is equal to key no okay all right again what i will do if arr beginning is less than or equal to arr mid arr beginning is less than equal to arr of mid okay so 3 5 yes this condition is true this condition is true but after that i will check if my key lies between this key lies between this or not so arr beginning is less than equal to key yes 3 is less than or equal to 6 okay and then key is less than arr mid 5 so key 6 is less than 5 no okay it is not so in that case what i will do i will simply move to this beginning is equal to mid plus one so beginning will be this now okay all right let's delete all these things so beginning will be this end will be this okay all right so what will be mid mid will be again this okay all right so mid will be this now what i will do again i will check this arr mid is equal to key no arr beginning is less than or equal to arr mid one is less than or equal to one yes is my key lying in this no my key is not lying okay so i will again move to right so beginning will be equal to mid plus one in that case my beginning and end both will be same so let's delete all this okay beginning and mid both end both are same mid is will be same again again i will check arr mid is equal to key no if arr beginning is less than equal to mid yes but if my key lies between beginning to mid no because key is six beginning is two end is two so end is two so this condition will fail this condition will fail okay this condition will fail so again i will move to right side this will beginning is equal to mid plus one okay all right beginning is equal to mid plus one so again i will move to right side now beginning is equal to beginning will be outside of end okay so here you can see my while condition will break because now beginning is greater than end now beginning is greater than end so i will simply return minus one okay all right so i hope it will be clear i have explained it with two uh, examples and i have uh, described this very very descriptively as well so please subscribe the channel share your feedbacks into the comment section and there is a chrome extension pinned comment link so please download it that as well i am going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye